Welcome to our channel Footprints Abroad, where we share with you our experiences and tips for exploring some of the most amazing destinations in the world. In this episode, we are going to take you on a journey through Italy, one of the most beautiful and diverse countries in Europe. From ancient ruins to modern art, from stunning landscapes to delicious cuisine, Italy has something for everyone. Join me as I visit 10 of the best places to see in Italy and show you why this country is a must-visit for any traveler. But before we move further in this video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This way you can support our channel so that we can continue to make these travel guide videos for you. Having said that, let's get started. Rome Our first stop is Rome, the capital city and a historical and cultural powerhouse. Rome is home to some of the most iconic attractions in the world, such as the Colosseum, the Vatican, and the Trevi Fountain. You can spend days exploring the ancient monuments, museums, churches, and art galleries that showcase the rich heritage of this city. Rome is also a vibrant and modern metropolis, with trendy neighborhoods, fashionable shops, and lively nightlife. Don't forget to try some of the local specialties, like pizza, pasta, and gelato. Renaissance and a feast for the eyes. Florence is famous for its artistic masterpieces by Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Domitello, which you can admire in the Uffizi Gallery, the Accademia Gallery, and the Bargello Museum. You can also marvel at the architectural wonders of the city, such as the iconic Duomo and Pont Vecchio. Florence is also a great place to enjoy the Tuscan lifestyle, with charming cafes, markets, and gardens. Amalfi Coast. From Florence, we take a train to Naples and then a bus to the Amalfi Coast, a stunning stretch of coastline with 13 colorful seaside towns. Each town has its own charm and beauty, but some of the most popular ones are Positano and Amalfi. You can relax on the beach, take a boat ride along the coast, or hike on the scenic trails that offer breathtaking views of the sea and the mountains. You can also sample some of the delicious seafood dishes and lemon desserts that are typical of this region. Venice. Our next destination is Venice, the city of canals and romance. Venice is unlike any other city in the world, with its unique waterways, bridges, and gondolas. You can glide on a gondola through the Grand Canal and admire the Gothic architecture of Street Marks Basilica and the Doge's Palace. You can also wander through the maze of narrow streets and alleys that lead to hidden squares and churches. Venice is also known for its carnival, masks, glassware, and lace. Sinter. From Venice, we take a train to La Spezia and then another train to Sinter, a cluster of five picturesque villages perched on the cliffs overlooking the Ligurian Sea. Sinter means five lands in Italian, and they are Monterosso, Olmer, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore. You can hike between them or take a train or boat and enjoy the views, the food, and the atmosphere. Sinter is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a national park so you'll need a special ticket to access the trails and the trains. You'll also find some of the best pesto focaccia and seafood in Italy here. Milan Our next stop is Milan, the fashion and design capital of Italy. Milan is a cosmopolitan and dynamic city where you can shop till you drop. Visit the majestic Duomo and the La Scala Opera House, and see Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. Milan is also a hub for innovation and culture, with many museums, galleries, and events to keep you entertained. Tuscany From Milan, we head back to Tuscany, a region of rolling hills, vineyards, olive groves, and charming towns. You can visit Siena, San Gimignano, Pisa, Luca, or Chianti for a taste of history, culture, and wine. 
Tuscany is also a paradise for food lovers with specialties like Florentine steak, truffles, cheese, and gelato. Sicily. Our next destination is Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, with a rich and diverse heritage. You can explore ancient Greek temples, Roman mosaics, Norman cathedrals, Baroque palaces, and volcanic landscapes. You can also enjoy the sunny beaches, the delicious cuisine, and the friendly people of Sicily. Lake Como. From Sicily, we fly to Milan and then take a train to Lake Como, a glacial lake surrounded by mountains and dotted with elegant villas and gardens. You can relax by the water, take a boat ride, or visit the charming towns of Bellegio, Arena, or Como. Lake Como is also a popular destination for celebrities, so you might spot some of them if you're lucky. Pompeii Our final stop is Pompeii, an ancient Roman city that was buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. You can walk through the preserved streets and buildings and see how people lived almost 2,000 years ago. You can also visit the nearby town of Herculaneum, which was also destroyed by the volcano, or climb up to the crater of Vesuvius itself for a panoramic view of the area. And that's it for this episode of my travel video series. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao.